Beach. We are here today and we're at the Seafood Festival. It's put on by Feel Good Salsa. We're going to be talking to a few of the vendors. We're going to be talking to Mariscos Yesi. They got a great, amazing Marisco selection. We're also going to be talking to Salsalito Fish Tacos. It's a mother-daughter combination that's running this business and they got vegan um, tacos and they also have a really good fish and shrimp tacos. Um, we're also going to be talking to the owner of Feel Good Salsa. Her name is Dina, and she's awesome. She started this community kitchen for smaller businesses that might not have a commercial kitchen of their own or a storefront. So she's letting them use this space so that they can basically run their business and survive COVID, which is awesome. So I'm really excited to talk to her. I'm really excited to eat some delicious seafood. So let's do this. Welcome back everybody. We are here talking to Dina. She is the owner of Feel Good Salsa and I'm really, really excited to be talking to her. Um, just want to get some more information about this amazing concept that you have going on. So can you tell us a little bit more about the community kitchen you started? Totally. So Feel Good Salsa Kitchen is the first um, commercially licensed facility in Long Beach. So we're the only one of its kind. Um, which is really awesome. I didn't know that when I set out to I do it. I didn't know that either. <laughs> um, there's other catering kitchens that, that rent out their space, but we are a licensed shared facility and the first one that's ever been in Long Beach. So I'm pretty proud that's of that. so awesome. I had started Feel Good Salsa, which is a farm to table, farmer's market salsa line. Mm -hmm. And I was renting from a kitchen that just was god awful. I didn't like it. They didn't recycle. They weren't eco-friendly. It was just not a good fit. So I started talking out of my butt and I was like, <laughs> I'll start my own kitchen and it, and I'm not going to ask people to pay $700 out the gate because yeah. like everybody's a small business and like trying to survive. Trying to survive. Why are you making me pay money before I can even make money? Yeah. So long story short, the good Lord blessed me and like this fell on my lap. And literally like what I want to build with it is a space for people to like be able to have their dreams come true. Like That's I know so for awesome. me, um, I gave up my career to start a food business and it was just so difficult, you know? And I was just like, it's gotta be easier. And so yeah. I was, I, you know, I'm not like a super pioneer, visionary kind of person, but I just was like, it just would be so nice if, if a perfect stranger went to bat for you. Yeah. And so in my heart, that's what I'm doing. It's like, none of these people are my friends. I didn't know them before Feel Good Salsa. Yeah. And I'm literally here, um, I'm not selling my product today. I'm just here to promote give them, them a space. give them a space. Two of the vendors have nowhere else to sell wow. um, because of COVID, everything got shut down. So I just didn't want to see people's dreams um, fall through just yeah. because no one cares or no one's willing to go up to bat for them. Yeah. So that's basically why we're here, why we're putting these events so that people can have a, a space. Mm -hmm. We are a green kitchen, so mm -hmm. we are really all about sustainability. I love that. So cool. I offer a scholarship program to new businesses, wow. which is like no one else in the, like that I know of in yeah. community kitchens, um, to just help offset some of the costs that are involved. Like, so if you're a vendor that comes in and you're using plastic, I will discount your rent if you eliminate plastic from your from whatever you're wow. using. So if you're using little plastic cups, if you want to discount. If you want a lower rent, I will give you a discount That's if you awesome. switch to biodegradable or something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So, so we're all about giving back to the planet. Stop to the using environment. plastics. Yes. No, <laughs> no plastic. Well, thank you so much for thank talking you. to us. I'm so excited to taste all of the food today. Yes. I really can't wait to taste some fresh good, some fresh salsa. Like yes. Yes. Your, yes. Um, I keep seeing your your layered bean dip. Oh yeah, your, that's super bomb and it's yeah. vegan. I've heard that is, it's like so amazing. So yeah. I'm, that's on my list. For I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah. For being vegan. And like people are like meat eaters are like right. I, like this, this is, is so, so good. good yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and I just I love I mean if I could be independently wealthy I would I would still do it right because I just love that people's face light up when they eat something that's like plant-based and totally. it's really delicious it's yeah. not just a crappy salad it's right. like ah, <laughs> I just love it <laughs> yeah awesome. so Thank you so much. Of you course. guys are so awesome. Feel good salsa, you guys. Please come down, check them out. They're awesome. If there's any other small businesses that are looking for some sort of a commercial space, hit her up and let's do this. So thanks guys. All right, we are here right now talking with Yesi from yes. Marisco's Yesi. Hey guys. She has some delicious seafood selections. She's got, I think you had aguas chiles, I think I seen yes. on the menu. I have aguas chiles, mango baneros, norteños, which is one of our spiciest dish. We have shrimp ceviche, mixed ceviche, which is shrimp and crab, fish, just crab, and I think that's it for now. That's and we have cocktails. Okay, nice. 
we're bringing them back. Well, that all we're sounds delicious. Back. I love alas chiles. I love anything like mango habanero. It's always a good yes. combination. Yes. So, really how long have you guys been doing this so far? So we've been in business. It, it all started back in 2017. Okay. But officially, um, with licenses and permits and everything, we just started this year. This year. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Was that pre-COVID that you guys started, or was it pretty much after everything? Uh, or right in, in the, the middle, middle right, in yeah, the middle. right in the middle right in the middle of it okay yeah. and so is that kind of why you have feel good salsa right now to be able to have your community kitchen that you're working out of yes so yeah it was a blessing to find feel good salsa yeah um so we're we're a small pop-up um we just started we didn't know what a business was or yeah. how to even run a business or what a restaurant is it's just it was just too crazy so she helped us out with licensing being able to just work in a kitchen is, yeah it's it's awesome what yeah. made you guys want to start the business so we were underground and then we got caught so the city of long beach showed up in our house uh -huh. so they shut us down we were doing everything from home everybody starts from home of course you right? gotta have that hustle yes. long beach knows hustle yes so. <laughs> so we started back in home and we used to work every single day and, and you just were selling it like out of your house and people would come in and just have place. no so we would just do uh delivery just delivery yes. okay for that same reason we yeah were just delivery yeah and at the beginning it was one tray two trays and then people started to get to know us and yeah it just blew up it was it long beach has had our back since day that's one that's awesome and, yeah long beach is our city and we love everybody from out here um so we started doing it in 2017 mm -hmm. a year passed and we got and shut down are. and uh -huh. here we are now so uh, it was how do i say it it's um it, it was What's it heartbreaking, challenging? Yeah, it, it's challenging, but it was a blessing in disguise. That's okay. how I call it. Yeah. Why do you say that? Why was it a blessing in disguise? Just because everything, we thought that everything was going to end for us. Uh -huh. Everybody showed up at our house. Police department. Oh, when the health Somebody department come, came. Yeah, yeah. They, they come and knock on your door and you're like, we're done. That's right. It. Right. I'm going to jail. You know, <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. So now that we're here, it's, it's a blessing to us. Yeah. You know, we were... We're able to go full throttle now. That's and awesome. Nobody can stop us now. That's what we say. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And so, are you operating out of the Feel Good Kitchen like on a regular basis? How would people be able to find you if you're not here? Yes. So we are just here Friday through Sunday. Our hours are open from 11 to 2 p.m. Okay. We're here early morning, but we're just open from 11 to 2. Mm -hmm. And Sundays we're open from 10 to 12 p.m. We are by pre-order only. Okay. As it's only me That's and my. Question. It's yeah. only me and my fiance, so it's just it's, it's just a lot. It yeah. Together. We're just trying to That's get the awesome. hang of it. We actually have a friend that just joined us and he's helping us out and it's whew, it's it's really nice to have some help. So um, you guys can check us out on Instagram at Marisco's Yesi. We have Facebook, Yelp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all social medias, everything you can think of. And my phone number is 562-481-9784. You guys should call me text me and then i'll answer i get really busy and distracted so just have patience with me and i swear <laughs> i will get back to you guys long beach local small business trying to survive this craziness yes. go support and get you some delicious mariscos yes we're here for you guys <laughs> mariscos thank you. Yes, we're here guys awesome thank awesome. you so much for no, talking to you. us thank you thank really you. appreciate thank you. you thank you appreciate there it. you go guys <laughs> awesome Welcome back everybody. We are here with Miss Beverly. She is from Unforgettable Lemonade. I got me a cucumber mint watermelon lemonade and it is seriously so refreshing and delicious in this heat. So thank you so much for taking a minute to talk to us right now. I know you thank guys are you. busy with this festival, but I just want to get a little bit more information about how you started this business and you guys are just operating out of the community kitchen for right now, correct? Yeah. 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 So yeah, we started, we've been into it since, since 2012. Okay. And it's my son and I, it's, and my youngest son. But the, my oldest son is the one that does more activities with uh -huh. me. And um, so we started basically, my, my son uh, needed an internship. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, we have to figure out something to do for you to make some money. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the lemon tree we had in our backyard. <laughs> and so we said, let's make lemonade. I love it. I love so that. So we've been doing it, like I said, since 2012. It's been great. We before the COVID-19, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we've done a lot of different festivals. We do a lot of music festivals. 
uh, jazz, the jazz festivals. We do um, antique festivals, art festivals. Wow. And we also do the vegan. Mm -hmm. We do the big vegan festival. Yeah. So we did a lot of that. We do, all over we the do place. catering. That's yeah. Grand. So since the COVID, since we're not able to get out, we're really starting to um, sell online mm -hmm. and to set up for deliveries. That's amazing. So I love that. So the pop-up has really been helping us because it's been kind of introducing us to a new side yeah. of our business. Are you from Long Beach? Are you like based in Long Beach? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're and from Long Beach. You're from Long Beach? Awesome. Yeah. Got to have the Long Beach locals for sure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and so is it you and your son that are coming up with like all the different flavors and that kind of a thing? Yeah, or how? You, you know, to be honest with it, I always give them all of mine. To glory, the glory to God, mm -hmm. like to say that. Mm -hmm. So if he really just kind of gives us the ideas, things. yeah, because people always say, "Well, how did you figure out that that particular flavor yeah. or whatever?" And because we make it with fresh fruit, we can just be so creative with it. Yeah, and absolutely. they mix really well together. Mm -hmm. So, and we do. We also do like a lemonade float during the summertime. Nice. And some of them we do. We do the um, with the tahini rim. Mm -hmm. So we try to give a variety. Yeah. Of different ways to present it. Mm -hmm. And we seem to be doing, people seem to love it. It's so great. I, always, I'm not even a big watermelon fan, but I love this. Like, oh, it is great. so, so good. It's not a, a super sweet, which I always kind of worry about with lemonades, but they're all super well balanced. We've kind of got a couple of different things. We got a wild berry one earlier, um, a peach iced tea, and everything has been delicious. Thank so you. you guys are definitely doing it right, for Thank sure. You. Appreciate <laughs> yeah, Thank so, you. Yeah. So, and are you only operating out of the community kitchen right now? Like, is there another way for people to be able to get your products? Well, we, we have an online setup. Okay, and so that's so the main way go, that yeah, you're... So if they go on our website, unforgettablelemonade.com, okay. they can go there and they can make orders from there. Got it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for talking thank to me. You. I really appreciate it. Delicious lemonade, Long, Long Beach Long local, Beach. small that's business, right. support, support, support. It's hot. You know you want some lemonade. <laughs> thank you.